What's up YouTube and what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal, the completely randomized Nuzlocke, episode number 17, my lucky number. I feel like I've said this before. I feel like I've said that before. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is episode 17 in the last episode, which was yesterday. Um, we made it here to Olivine City. Uh, in Olivine City, we actually went through the lighthouse yesterday. Um, and things did not go smoothly. I'm just gonna say that. We lost a couple people. I don't know how many episodes in a row it's been, but it feels like every day of last week and Monday of this week, we lost somebody. So if you missed the last episode, make sure you click the card uh, that's like right here. I don't know, it's somewhere really close to me. But anyway, you can click the card and check out yesterday's episode. Make sure you do that if you missed out. In today's episode, we're gonna be heading down to Cyanwood City. There's a whole bunch of encounters, um, <clears throat> and then um, that'll probably be it, because that'll probably be all the time that we had. There are a lot of trainers, so I imagine there's going to be a lot of trouble coming up. Um, so if you're excited for today's episode of Pokemon Crystal, go ahead and hit that like button before we even jump in, and subscribe if you're new, because this series is awesome. Um, let's go ahead and do a team recap in case you missed the last episode. First up, we have Sarah, the strongest member of our team. That's our Grass Poison type Dragonite. Still with Scratch Roll and Kick Dizzy Punch Up Tezuka holding the Amulet Coin because we still need money since we don't have any held items. Why not? With great stats. Look at that defense. Ooh, speed is pretty lacking though. Next up, we have my favorite, uh, one of my favorite members of our team for sure. It's Rajiv, the Ice Ground type Hair Cross. Holding the Quick Claw, because you'll see his speed is also terrible with Cross Chop, Dizzy Punch, Thunderbolt, and Horn Attack. <clears throat> his speed is laughable. His special attack is great, though. Next up is the most surprising member of our team. That's Clovis, the Flying-type Swinub. Holding the Amulet Coin as well. Why not get money? I'm, all, I'm okay with getting money. We got Sludge, the Broken Cut, uh, Bone Meringue, and Mud Slap. <clears throat> Okay, stats. I think we evolve at like 33 or 34 or something. I don't know. And then, of course, our newest member is uh, Sophronia, the Grass Electric type, but Choke, with High Jump Kick, Sleep Powder, Triple Kick, and Sing. Um, so that is it for our team. As you can tell, I'm not too excited about Sophronia. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to put Sophronia up front. We're going to run this way. Ah, oh, we're in a new route. What route did that say we were in? Route 40. Um. Alright, what are all these people? Want? There's a building up here. I can't imagine what it is. I don't know if I've ever heard this theme. If I had headbutt. I could get an encounter up here, right? Yeah, I could. Huh. I'll have to remember that. Which reminds me, um, <clears throat> we will be going back to fish in Goldenrod, or we'll surf in Goldenrod and uh, Ecritique. I totally forgot that I skipped over both of those, I think. No. You can't surf. You can't fish in Goldenrod. You can fish in Ecritique, though, so we'll have to do that eventually. Um, do any of these people battle? She gives me a sharp beak. Alright. <clears throat> do we not have Surf? I do have Surf. How come Sophronia cannot learn Surf? Alright, who did I say his special attack was really high? Was that Clovis? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter because we don't really know what our... <clears throat> yes. Let's get rid of Bone Meringue, because Bone Meringue has never done anything good for us. All right, <clears throat> we're off. So our first encounter, we will obviously catch and add directly to the team. Let's hope it's something super exciting. <clears throat> I meant to say this at the beginning of the episode. Um, question of the days, I'm not so good at talking about them because I have to focus so much on this crazy stuff like a freaking Machamp out in front of me. Um, so make sure you check out the question of the day, it's right below me. Uh, and answer it in the comments below. I love talking to people. I want to let's talk in the comments. Um, so we're gonna go for the sleep powder, and then we're gonna hit it up with this high jump kick. Body da, Paris, fine whip. 
Is it weird to anybody else that Machoke is using... Wait a second. Did my gender change? Wait. Did I get Sophronia when searching for a... A female name or a male name? We're gonna add a Flaffy to our team. Okay. Okay. I'm not upset. Why oh, do you have extreme speed? I'm gonna use triple kick because triple kick never kills anything. Oh, it only hit once? Wow, Sophronia, you suck. Why did that only hit once? Shouldn't triple kick hit three times? Surely I'm not the only person that thought triple kick was gonna hit at least twice. <clears throat> alright, alright, we're starting this episode off wonderfully. So we have caught ourselves a Mareep. Uh, that is Mareep, the wool Pokemon. It stores lots of air in its soft fur, allowing it to stay cool in summer and warm in winter. That might be the most successful I've ever read a name in this game. So we have our male Mareep, whose name is going to be... <clears throat> I like it. I can live with this. His name will be Ming. The Mareep. Which is fitting, because we just, uh, we just did that whole thing with Amphi. Uh, alright, let's check out Ming, our Mareep, who is actually gonna evolve at the very next level. So we have Ming, our Ghost-type Mareep, with Extreme Speed, Bone Club, Morning Sun, and Payday. Payday makes its return, with good speed, good special attack, good attack, and pretty really good defense. Alright, I can live with this. Let's run up here and heal. <clears throat> so we are up to five members again. All right, another Marie. So Marie must be the tentacle of the game. Uh, I don't want to leave with Sophronia. I'm sorry, Sophronia, you're not strong enough. I just battled that person. <clears throat> this was one of my favorite parts of the game. Oh, you have rapid spin. Okay, let's think. Cut was psychic, it didn't affect, that means it's a fight, uh, that means it's a dark type. Alright, red card. Red card. Oh, did I just use another psychic attack? Alright, let's go with the Octazooka. Okay. Alright, we're just gonna ride, we're just gonna dizzy punch this thing. <clears throat> I almost called it a rock punch because it's a rock type move. Pain split? Heck no. Alright, let's go ahead and use some of these potions. I did not used to use potions this much. Doing playthroughs on YouTube has made me start using potions. I used to just run back to the center and heal. <clears throat> but now I don't mind... Uh... Alright, let's go with Mud Slap. So Quilava used to be a fire type. So hit it with that Mud Slap. Clovis, you're getting bodied today. Alright, let's hit it with it. Excuse me? You are not going to use Solar Beam on me. I need like a red card that I can just like... <gasps> that I can just smack. Because that... If that was a red card if I've ever seen one. What is this thing? It's like not very, not very effective for anything. It must be a dual type. That's, that's part of the craziness about this game, man. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna go with that. Should be okay. <clears throat> we're gonna battle everybody, everyone, everyone, everyone. Oh my gosh. Clovis is busted, man. Woo! Our team is so strong. <clears throat> I have not gotten in the habit of using... Uh... Ooh! Another encounter. We're in Route 41 now. Let's go ahead and let Clovis just uh, body these people. These are level 23, though, so I'm not like... Dip? Rajiv, come on out. You're a dark type. You're a dark type. I guess I'll just cross chop. You're a dark fighting type. 
Yeah, Rajiv doesn't play. Rajiv's playing. Rajiv's playing. What happened to Rajiv doesn't play? <clears throat> also, you might notice that this is, uh... Okay. Um, <clears throat> this being a nighttime episode, um, typically the nighttime episodes happen a little later. They happen when it's, like, dark outside. But it doesn't really get, like, dark outside until, like, 10 or 11. And I really just don't want to be still recording at that point. Alright, here goes our first encounter in this route. Well, it's a ditto. It's a poison ditto. Alright. Let's go ahead and try to catch it. Ditto! Stay in the ball! Ditto! Last chance! Alright! Ditto, the transform Pokemon, is... It doesn't matter, you can search for either. Okay. Ditto, the transform Pokemon, when it encounters another Ditto, it will move faster than normal to duplicate that opponent exactly. That sounds crazy. So like two dittos meet and they just go like at a competition for who can transform quicker. That's pretty crazy. Oh, right. This is a pretty cool name. I've, n I I've never in my life used a ditto. Is this right? We have Zippora. That's such an exotic name. And you're also about to die. Just wanted to let you know that. I have to use a super potion on this thing. Alright, we gotta go back in here. <clears throat> so, I, I just remembered what the question of the- oh! Also, I, I didn't finish my thought, as I very regularly don't do. Um, the reason that it's slightly later, you know, you can see the light in the background, you can see that the sun's still out just a little bit. Um, but we're streaming now. Uh, we're going to be streaming shiny hunting. I'm trying to do an hour, at least an hour of shiny hunting every day. Uh, it would be really cool if I could get a one shiny per day, but I think doing one hour, I don't think that's going to happen. But um, that's what we're doing today for sure. So that's why. And uh, you can find that link in the description, of course. So we have Zippora, our rock type ditto, with string shot, sludge, pedal dance, and high jump kick. That's really not the best moveset. String shot, for obvious reasons. We've seen that Sludge on our Clovis doesn't do a lot. Um, Pedal Dance locks you into that move and High Jump Kick if you miss. I don't I don't know, Zippora, oh my god, leave me alone. Can I like delete numbers? Is that a thing? All right. So we're in Route 40. <clears throat> Let's see, I'll get Clovis to Route, um, or to uh, level 30. And then we'll switch it up. <clears throat> Hey Clovis, go ahead and uh, just end this person. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes, that's gonna hurt a little bit. All these moves are super effective. Why? That's a. Can we talk about how I just got hit by three? I'm out of here. Sophronia, it's your turn. Excuse me. Sarah, it's your turn. Excuse me? Zippora, it's your turn. Excuse me? <laughs> Sophronia, it's your turn again. Thank you for using something other than dynamic punch. Go to sleep. Hold this triple kick. All right, that's Sophronia. All right, I see you, Sophronia. Sophronia coming through, gosh. Uh, let's just go into Sarah. This is fine. But it's good to know that I can use Sophronia from time to time now. <clears throat> and when I need to, I can still just switch in my... Uh, 
I can still just switch in my Dragonite and the world is good. Found a Hoppip. Nobody wants a Hoppip. You know, like, some people's mascots are Hoppip. Like, Jay Witz's mascot is Hoppip, and, you know, he can have that. Uh, I don't think anybody will ever challenge him for that, if I'm being honest. All right, let's go ahead with Mud Slap. Oh, it did nothing. Sophronia, can you handle this? <sighs> can you handle this? Is that all you got? I'm going for high jump kick. I'm trying to go for high jump kick. Here we go. Smack! That did nothing! So what if you're a water type? What the heck is this thing? <clears throat> All right, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That was pretty strong. I have to commend you on that. A smirgle. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I should do stuff like these routes in uh, grinding montages. You know, some people like, um, most notably like Nappy, he does routes like this in grinding montages. Uh, I think part of the this completely randomized Nuzlocke, I think part of the cool thing about that is seeing all of these Pokemon. Also, I meant to switch. Did that almost... Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and switch. Let's get Sarah up to level 30 next, and then I guess we'll go with Sophronia. Sophronia is kind of proving that she can hang with it. Um, but anyway, let me know what you think if uh, if I should do, like, instead of having episodes like this, should I just do this stuff in a grinding montage? I knew that that wasn't going to affect. <clears throat> should I just do stuff like this in a grinding montage? Because, um, you know, some people might say that the speed up, the sped up music is really annoying. Which, you know, I can agree with that. I think it's louder for me than it is for you. So hopefully, you know, hopefully it's not too bad. Um, pedal dance. Get out of here with that. If I miss, I die. Nah. nah, it's not worth it. Not for my, uh, not, not for the strongest member of my team. Maybe if it was like, um, that Kadabra from yesterday. Thank goodness he's gone, right? Am I right? Am I right? I think I'm right. All right, what's up next? What's up next? What do you have? <clears throat> I mean, I could do this stuff in a grinding montage. It would make the series go by faster, which isn't like a horrible thing. But like, I'm, I've said it before, I'm really not in a rush. I'm not in a rush with these games at all. I know that I'm like holding down the, whole, the speed up button the whole time, but... I know I'm holding down the speed up button, but you know, I think that's... We're making it there, we're making it there. This episode will hopefully be about 25-ish minutes. I think we still have one more encounter. <clears throat> Lapras is pretty, pretty strong. Nice. Yeah, it's a good thing that this... Already level 30? <clears throat> what the heck? All right, it is time, as I said. Oh, this is so risky. So, what we have to do... Alright, I'm gonna take this and we're gonna give it to Sophronia. Uh, and then we're going to heal up some. I'm down to 14 super potions, man. I started this episode with 25 super potions. How much money do I have? Uh, it's really not a low. Ooh, I need more money. You see that last number? 27,000... Triple six. That's unlucky. Oh, I'm already here. So I do get an encounter for Cyanwood City, and this is going to be it right here. Will it be something exciting? Ooh! Okay. Okay. Sophronia, go ahead and put it to sleep real quick. Alright, Sophronia. Go ahead and triple kick it. It doesn't affect. So it's a ground type. This it was level 24. 
No, I'm level 24. It's level 16, right? It's ground type. What type is sludge? <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and switch here. Psychic. This hasn't done a lot in the past. Okay, perfect. That actually works very nicely. All right. <clears throat> Arcanine. Arcanine. You can have an immediate spot on the team. Join the... Oh my god. Speaking of an immediate... That thing popped out. Dragon Rage, it does 40. That didn't do 40. What? How can they change the power of Dragon Rage? Wow, that was surprisingly easy. <clears throat> so let's go in here again. <clears throat> you know, I'm glad that I didn't decide to go back to Goldenrod in this episode. <clears throat> I'm glad I just decided to play it out. Arcanine, the legendary Pokemon. An ancient picture scroll shows that people were attracted to its movement as it ran through prairies. This is a great episode. I can read. All right, we got our boy. Got our boy Haynes. The Arcanine. He was transferred to the PC, so we'll check him out here in just a minute. I want to make sure that I battled everybody. Go back in route 41. Okay. I think this is the last... I think this is the last person. Defense fell. Oh, I forgot that that, like, does nothing. Okay, that's not very effective. Oh, God. Hold that! Oh, my goodness! Sephroni, ugh. High jump kick! Alright, triple kick. Why is triple kick good all of a sudden? Try and learn bubble instead of sing? Sure. For sure, you go for it. You go for it, Sephronia? That's my guy, S Sephronia. Oh, <clears throat> of course. One last party change for the day. What, what box are we in? We're in box 14. Crap. Uh, let's change the box one. And let's deposit our Zipora. Zipora, I'm sorry. You don't evolve. You don't really do a lot. And your stats are really like... Eh? Eh? So we're just going to deposit you. It's okay, though. You'll be there in case we need you. <clears throat> And we're going to pick up Haynes. And then let's change, let's go ahead and change our box back to box one. Because next next episode, I think we have a lot more encounters as well. What time is it? All right. Let's take a look at Haynes. We have Haynes, the ground bug type Arcanine. With Dragon Rage, Rollout, Bone Club, and Ice Punch. With amazing attack. Terrible special attack. Look at the, but that attack and defense is just great. This will fit on the team very nicely. Now, I just thought about this. I think if we go in here, don't we, we get a Pokemon from this guy. I, I'm in shock. A guy with about your age with piercing eyes and long hair came in. He scared me into giving him my prized Pokemon. I still have one left, but what if he comes back? Bambi, why? Why would you do this to somebody? He didn't do anything to you. He didn't do anything to you. Return the Pokemon. I'm so I'm mad. I'm mad. Haynes, I'm gonna drop you off for just a minute. <clears throat> the reason I'm doing this now and not at the beginning of the next episode is because if we wind up liking this and adding it to the team. Um, then, you know, I want, it, I want it to be in the grinding montage before we take on Chuck's gym. <clears throat> About my age, no. Bambi is like 16 years younger than me. <clears throat> Received a Pokemon.
And we're gonna find out what- no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, I have to- I have to check. No! 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 If you don't know why I'm saying no repeatedly, go back to the beginning of the, of the series and start watching that. <clears throat> so that is going to do it for today's episode. Um, today we, it was a grinding episode, so I, so go ahead and let me know what you thought. You know, I thought this episode was fine. You know, we're just kind of chilling and uh, just making our way through to, um, to Olivine's, or to Cyanwood City. Along the way, we caught ourselves a Flaff, or, um, a Mareep. We caught ourselves a Ditto. And then we caught ourselves an Arcanine. And then at the very end, we acquired another Muck that will never be seen unless we absolutely need him. Um... But yeah, in the next episode, we are going to take on Chuck, the gym leader. Uh, and then we will encounter uh, at the north of Cyanwood City. If you don't know Pokemon Crystal, then I won't spoil it for you. But we will meet somebody up there. And then we'll head back to... Um, actually, the gym might take up the whole episode, but we'll see. Uh, but very soon, we're going to be heading back up to Olivine City to carry on from there. So if you enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe so you can see a whole lot more. <clears throat> and we will be back tomorrow with the next episode of Pokemon Crystal, the completely randomized Nuzlocke. Have a blessed day.